Thank you for joining me. Gray Board Gamer here with the unboxing of Sector 6 from Draco Ideas. Let's take a look at the box before we open it. This was a Kickstarter I supported a while back. Ten minis included. Well, that's good. Who doesn't like a mini. Looks like we got a lot of language support here, so I'm expecting a rule book to be full of different languages. Let's get it open and see what we have in here. And we do have a pretty heavy instruction booklet or rule book. And I was correct, we have multiple languages supported. We'll just take a look through the English part first. See how many pages of rules we have. Looks like we have a lot of text. Maybe some examples of some of the minis. Well that was quick. We're already into another language. Does that mean Game setup, enter the maze, building. Wow. So maybe only a few pages of rules. Let me make sure. I'm going to keep going to make sure I don't have anything else in here. These all look like. Yep, all their languages. So we only have a few pages of rules. So this probably will not be that complex as you can see. Page two, end game four, full game five. Yeah, we're only looking at uh, four to six pages of rules. Nice. Ah, and then we have a visual guide. Right when I said there were no pictures in the rule book, they throw a visual guide at me with number, looks like references. So the rule book will tell you to check that out. And that's fine, I, I don't mind that at all, giving me a reference book to check out for different instances and different moves. Very nice. That, I can get with that at all. Not a problem. And then we have game variants. We got a four player team mode, five player, six player. We have our solitaire variant. We have a campaign, then we get into other languages, so we have a book of variants also. Now we have some cardboard to check out. Okay, so things got jumbled around a little bit in transport. I got peace trying to escape. So we have different colors, different pips or dots on them, one through four it looks like. Oh, let me go ahead and hit them with my thumb. Let's see what kind of cardboard we got. Looks sturdy and thick. Yep, lots of pressure on there. No bending. So looks like we're good in that regard. I have a couple. Oh, we're still joined. There we go. And these are the different areas in the game, looks like different connectors. And we have the same thing here. Ah, these also have different numbers of dots on them. And those probably correspond, like the blue has four, the blue has four, so I should see some green ones with three on them. Okay, well that's easy to suss out. And these all have the same back on them. So does the red only have, well I was expecting it to only have one exit but it has multiples also. Considering I haven't read the rules, let's take a look at what we have for minis here. See the oxygen mask, 
tank on the back. We got different models here. The arms seem pretty thin, easy to flex and bend. I don't know how much detail these really have on them. Yeah. As long as they serve their purpose, they may not be what I can get into painting. I might be able to make these look pretty good. Maybe somebody besides me, since I'm not the greatest miniature painter. So it looks like we have we have three of the gray, four red, three yellow, and only one of the black. Let's take a look at that again. Hmm. Wonder what the difference is. I'll find out the first time we play. And we have an insert here. And once we get to playing, it looks like it's angled, so maybe these hexagonal pieces will line up in here nice, the circular ones here, and maybe this is the area for the minis. So what I will do real quick is I'm going to punch everything and try and put it in there and see how well the insert works. All of the hexagonal pieces fit with some room to spare and a little bit of room to spare also with the round tokens. The minis seem to sit down in the tray nice. And the extra room will come in useful because the game also came with this additional material on the outside of it. Which looks like we have six dots on those. A Sector 6 bag with a uh, print on it that's not embroidered, it's like a silk screen printing. A little velvet bag. Not sure what it's for, and maybe it's a draw bag. Then I got six of these big things. I don't know what they're for. They're a thinner cardboard than what's in the other parts of the game, so I don't know what their application is. And then we have a couple more of these empty chambers, which there are some in the game already, and then the ones with six in them. So let me punch these items out and see if they fit in the box also. The additional material fit in there nicely, no problem. There's still a little bit more room here, although the round tokens are in there. That, that section's pretty full. Seems like there's plenty of room for my bag and these additional items that I don't know what they're for yet. See if my rule books will fit on top. So it looks like the insert that came with it is more than adequate, holding the base game and the additional material that came with it. I'm not sure if that additional material was supposed to be part of the base game and was just outside the box, or if that was Kickstarter exclusive or some other kind of material. But that is the unboxing of Sector 6 from Draco Ideas. Thank you for watching. If you have this game, please let me know how it plays, what you like or don't like about it, or your general thoughts just on what you see in the unboxing that I've just done. Always appreciate when comments are left, and I'll see you in my next video.